Every year, tens of millions of Americans suffer from nerve damage, some irreparably so. Signs can heal bones, grow new organs, and even restore our microbiomes. But why is it so hard to fix our nerves? Hey guys, Lisette here for DNews. The human body possesses a remarkable ability to heal. Bones refuse, skin wounds mend, and the immune system adapts to infection. But there's one area of the body that struggles to recover after an injury, the nervous system. Nerve damage can be some of the most debilitating and permanent type of injury. The nervous system is an incredibly complex network used to send electrical information throughout the body. It can basically be divided into two sections, with the brain and spinal cord making up the central nervous system, or CNS, and the nerves made up of fibers of sensory and motor neurons comprising the peripheral nervous system. Each cell in the nervous system from the tip of your finger up your arm, up your spinal column, into your brain is very specialized and each has a unique function on the pathway, like a circuit. If one of these gets cut or injured, it's hard for an exact replacement cell to be put in the right spot. Think about when you get a cut on your skin. If the cut goes deep enough, exact replicas of cells won't cover the wound. Instead, fibrous tissues form, which we call scar. And scars are a part of the problem in regrowing nerves. They often get in the way, especially in the case of spinal cord injuries. As part of the CNS, spinal cord injuries are notoriously difficult to heal, partially because of the way nerve cells in the CNS are made. According to the book Results and Problems in Cell Differentiation, the CNS also has certain proteins that weirdly inhibit cell regeneration. While this might sound like a bad idea, it's hugely beneficial overall to the formation of the CNS. These cells need to grow grow exactly where they are supposed to. Just one out of place could be bad. Like, think of an electrical circuit. Each unit has to be in a specific order, in a specific place to work. If one is out of place, the integrity of the CNS is compromised. Neurons in the CNS also lack certain cleaning cells. Nerve cells are made up of many parts, but they send signals through threads covered in a protective sheet of myelin. These threads are called axons. Axons are the long part of the cell that reaches out to the cell next to it to send information down the line. So these are obviously super important and need protecting. That's where the Schwann cells come in, which are only found in the peripheral nervous system. Schwann cells, which aren't neurons, but glial cells, produce the myelin that help protect the axons. But a study published in the Journal of Cell Biology found they also clean up damaged nerve cells, making way for the healing process to take place and new nerves to be formed. But the problem is these Schwann cells are missing from the CNS. What they have instead are myelin-producing cells called oligodendrocytes. But these cells don't clean up damaged nerve cells at all, which is part of the problem. So unfortunately, according to Dr. Richard G. Fessler, professor at Rush University Medical Center, there are currently no therapies which successfully reverse the damage from injuries to the spinal cord. But research is currently underway to examine the potential success of stem cell treatment, where stem cells are injected directly at the injury site. Still, it will take a few years to see the results of such trials. But there are times your body can regenerate nerves. The peripheral nervous system doesn't have the same blocking proteins that the CNS has, and Schwann cells help heal the damage. So it's able to regrow nerves, albeit slowly. For instance, if you cut a nerve into your shoulder, it could take a year to regrow. By that time, the muscles in your arms can become atrophied. So not surprisingly, researchers are working on helping the body heal faster. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation found that a shock of heat made the peripheral nerves grow faster. In another study published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials, researchers used 3D printing to make a sort of guide for peripheral nerves to follow as they regrew. The guide was built with small physical grooves and even chemical cues to help guide the nerve along its new path. But to learn more about other research into repairing spinal cord injuries, check out Trace's awesome episode here. When the University of Missouri researchers hit the cells with a natural molecule called cyclic AMP, the cells would begin to grow. The cells which were already growing just ignored it. No side effects at all. Researchers have been looking for factors like this which appear in humans as well. Do you suffer from nerve damage? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for new episodes every day.